What's up Guardians, Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. Today I'm going to show you a new exploit that's going to make farming out the new seasonal weapons and their red border counterparts a whole hell of a lot easier. This exploit will save you a ton of time towards collecting and crafting the new season of the haunted weapons. And to do this, we'll be taking advantage of the new Bound in Sorrow quest. Now we're going to be collecting an endless supply of bound presents through this exploit. So if you've had any issues getting any of the six new weapons from Season of the Haunted to drop or their deep sight counterparts, then this is the video for you. Now before we get started, if you enjoy the video and find it helpful, then please be sure to hit that like button below along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated. Now each week, the new Bound in Sorrow questline gets reset and requires guardians to complete containment activities and collect bound presents. You need bound presents to claim the rewards at the end of the sever missions. These rewards have high probability of dropping red border weapons. Typically, bound presents is a random drop from containment with an overall low drop rate. But while you were on the second step of bound in sorrow, you have a significantly higher chance of receiving bound presence when binding the harvester after the containments. In fact, it's practically a guarantee to receive at least one bound presence every time you complete a containment. So with that being said, if you fill up your character's inventory before binding and completing a containment, the bound presence will be sent to your postmaster instead and the Bound in Sorrow questline does not get progressed. Unlike your character's inventory, Bound Presence can stack up to five times while in the Postmaster. So what you will need to do is run through containments and collect no more than five Bound Presents. Make sure that you're collecting bounties and patrols along the way because you're still going to need Vestige of Dread in order to bind the containments. Each containment requires 500 dread, but it's pretty easy to collect that just by participating in activities on the Leviathan. Before you exceed five bound presents, head to the tower and claim them. Now, before you do anything else, you need to abandon the bound in sorrow questline so that it remains on this step. We'll be picking it back up later though, so don't worry. And now load up and complete any of the sever missions. Once you've completed the mission, you will now have the ability to redeem all of the bound presents that you have on you, instead of normally just having one, which is going to greatly increase the amount of rewards that you get and the likelihood of getting any of the new seasonal weapons and their deep sight counterparts. And now, once you've claimed the chest and finished out the sever mission, head back to the tower re-obtain the quest through the kiosk and rinse and repeat the process as many times as needed throughout the week. It's important though to not progress beyond this step in the quest line while farming out for bound presence because once you've completed that step line you're going to go back to having just a small drop chance at getting those bound presences. But say there's a mistake and you end up progressing the quest you can simply just swap over to an alternate character, get to the same point in the quest line, and rinse and repeat the whole process on that character instead, because this will work on any of your three characters. It's also important to know that you can collect the bound presence on one character. Once transferred to your inventory, you could then complete the sever mission on any of your other characters. Bound in Sorrow is a weekly repeating quest line giving you an abundance of opportunities to use this exploit throughout the season to collect and craft these new seasonal weapons. It's untelling how long this exploit will remain before Bungie decides to patch it out, so I highly suggest that you take advantage of this amazing exploit now while you still can. That's going to wrap things up for today's video. I wish you all the best and luck in obtaining the new haunted weapons. Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite so far. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. If so, then please be sure to hit that like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and really do help support the channel. 
And until next time, Guardians, this has been Profane wishing you some happy hunting.